Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I think 
think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. So the dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough. Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Enough. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in?
Oh, more wanderers. <clears throat> Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't board well. you in my sleep. Time to leave for good. That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? <laughs> <laughs> 